The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 25th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. would love to hear from you. 877-927-6648. That's the number to call in on. Now, if you've got a question, but you can't dial in, you can always send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, i got a slightly mixed bag out there. The mix is coming from the Dow, which is up 33 points. The S&P is off 26 points. NASDAQ 100 down 171. Russell's off 16. Semi's down 62. Tranny's off 262. Gold is off 3 bucks. Silver's down 21 cents. Light three crude off a buck. Natural gas up 2 pennies. 30 Treasury down 27 ticks right now. Printed out at 109.05. Leading the charge. Dollar-wise, the upside. You've got Moody's Corp up 15 bucks. That's about a 5% move. MicroStrategy, 15 bucks. 3.6%. Microsoft is up 3%. $10 move there. Waste management up 10. Stride is up about uh, $9. That's a 19% move there. To the downside, the leaders in the clubhouse, Thermo Fisher Scientific off 33. Uh, market taxes holdings down 21. That's about 9%. 8% for NASD stocks. Uh, auto data processing ADP is down 19 bucks. 8% Old Dominion is off 18 bucks. 5%. We got movers and we've got some shakers. But let's begin by taking a look at what the equity markets are doing out here right now. You do have the Dow that's trading the upside. Why don't we just start there? Now let's go take a look at this intraday charts out here and see what the Dow needs to do in order to suggest that this rally has any kind of meaning to it. What do you mean by meaning to it? Well, we need to see where resistance is. Where is price trading into? Now, for the Dow, we're not going to go take a look at cash in to see. We're going to take a look at the equity future contract. And as we do that, we can see that the Dow equity futures are certainly up. They're trading out at 33,289 as we speak. But what you'll notice out there, and I'll just simply expand out the chart, is that red oscillator and change line. Red oscillator and change line is a somewhat um, bearish directional signal. As long as price remains below that, that tells us we have a falling price oscillator below zero. That is a bearish signal. Now, there's support out here inside the Dow on its daily time frame. And that's at the bottom of its profile. And that's at the 33,148 level. So what you're watching now today, and don't use this to the T, 33,342, the reason I say not to the T is simply because as price moves higher, that number is going to move a bit higher as well. What I can share with you, though, is if we get above yesterday's high and we stay above yesterday's high, slide this over to the left, yesterday's high is 33,420, then you can expect and anticipate that a further rally is going to unfold. So, yeah, the Dow is green, but if we take a look at the Dow equity future contract, so far it has not taken out resistance on the daily time frame. Let's go take a look at those other time frames. The five-hour time frame chart suggests it's just consolidating between support and resistance. It tested support over the last five hours at 33,122. If you can close above 
33,341 offers the promise of a move to 33,559. You got a TD9 count bottom on the four hour time frame chart for the Dow. You can see its consolidation zone. And that's between the bottom of its profile, 33,122, and that was tested earlier this morning, and 33,341. Just like the five hour chart, four hour chart has the exact same profile, at least at the bottom and the center. So it's going to be that 33, 341 level that's really going to be key for price to close above on a four hour time frame chart to suggest a move to the top of the profile or its breakdown area. The breakdown is at 33, 559. No different, uh, no different uh, opinion on the uh, two-hour chart. It's got the same information. Similar to the 60-minute chart, it's got the same information. It has a little bit different resistance points. Both the uh, two-hour and the one-hour are at 33,357. Let's still go with the... Uh, Let's go with the 33,357. Makes it just a little bit more difficult for price to move over uh, that level. Um, otherwise, on an intraday, the only thing I've got is a 15-minute TD9 count pattern. This should take the Dow Equity Future contract up to 33,366. That's its TD9 count breakdown resistance level. If you can't do that, well, then it's pretty weak is what the signal would be for you and I. So that's what we see going on. We take a look at the Dow. We take a look at the uh, Dow Equity Future contract, that is. Let's go take a look at the other Equity Future contracts. But let's look at the daily, the weekly, and, yeah, just the daily and weekly. So the top row out here, ES Mini, are the daily time frames. Um, the bottom are the weekly time frames. So let's start with the ES Mini. Off about six-tenths of a percent as we speak right now, it yesterday generated a a uh, Rhodes Mctum indicator bottom. Had a little bull sash candle. Now we can see that price ran into resistance at its oscillator and change line. We talked about this OUL, the oscillator and change line for the Dow. For the ES Mini, that number is around 4281. It's printed at 4281. If price moves higher, price needs to close above that. Now, I've got two different sets of profiles and we've got to use them both. Remember, the first set of profiles, so we take a look at here on the white chart, uh, shows that price, uh, the profiles are above price. And that is a bearish message tells us about overhead supply but my black background charts show and we talked about this at the um, at the uh, 11 a.m. update support here and write this down in your pad of papers at 42 34 25 we use both sets of profiles out here when they form I just simply use them all I don't get uh, anxious or anxiety because which is real they're all real out there so we'll use those as support and resistance levels but you did get a a Rosemontum indicator bottom yesterday and if price can close above that oscillator and change line, we're going to get more rally. Now, that more rally may only take us up to the top of the profile when I take a look at the black background chart. And that's up at 43.18. And that's the bottom of the profiles you can see on this white background chart. So 43.18.25 would be the level that price should be able to get to if it can close above that red oscillator and change line, certainly move above it. Beyond that, then what you would see is resistance at 4360 and 4402. That's looking at the daily time frame. When we look at the, uh, uh, the for the ES mini, the weekly time frame has a Gartley buy pattern. That remains in effect unless price closes on Friday below 4235.50. If it did that, it also has support not that much further down. Its next support level would be at 4194.75. For the NQ. The NQ has that TD9 count bottom. That TD9 count bottom remains in place unless we see a close below 14,586. We have a new profile that formed. The new profile has support at 14,599. Again, the profile here inside the uh, white background charts show that the bottom of it is down at the uh, 14,684 level. But I'm going to use those black background charts. We use them all. And that uh, profile support level is lower. And that was actually tested earlier this morning. 14,599.50, that's level to note on your pad of paper. Steve Roach with TFNN, we'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call, call, call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Welcome back, folks. You got the Dow up uh, 68, uh, s and P's down 27. We're going to take a look at some requests that uh, have come in. The first one for Nancy uh, wants to take a look at my Microsoft. And her question is up or down from here. So let's open up the daily time frame chart here first, Nancy. And it's going to be dependent upon the close. So what we can see right now is that uh, first, uh, price has taken out its TD9 count top. That TD9 count top formed on the trading day of October 12th. So taking that out is a bullish message out here. We can also see that price is trading above a TD9 count breakdown resistance level, the key important one, which was at 337.40. So if price stays above 337.40 at day's end, price should make its way up towards a 351.89 level. Now, there's also an A to B equals CD pattern that we can take a look at. The B point is the trading session from October 19th. Now, the volume on that session was 25 million shares. So far today, we're at 21 million shares. So what we know, Nancy, is we have at least a confirmed by a, 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 a to B equals CD pattern. So let's take a look at it. Let's go ahead and draw in the A to B point right there. And then let's see if I can take this over. See if Stevie fixed that problem. Did he fix it? Uh, sort of fixed it. Maybe it just got good at the grab. So the one-to-one -one takes us up to that level, that next level that we were talking about. That next level is that TD9 count breakdown area at 351.89. So at this stage of the day, at 11.19, don't know what the end of the day's session looks like. And we really want to see price stay above that 337.40 level out there. It looks like you've got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. Now, that retracement level and that B to C leg out there, Nancy, that's less than a 0.618. Maybe that's a 0.382 retracement out there. Typically, when you do less than a 0.618 retracement, odds favor, doesn't guarantee it, but odds favor increases the probability that this will do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals C. That's why it's so important to maintain the exact same angle of the A to B leg toward the C to D area. That way you can understand, is it a stronger move along the C to D line that is on the A to B? That's another piece of information that's out there. So right now, when we take a look at the daily time frame chart, the 351.89 becomes our price target. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. 
The weekly chart says 350. 350 is the price target. And I would say a price closes above the center of its profile out here this week. The center of that profile is at the 340.21 level. That will add to that uh, message of moving higher in that 350 area. On a monthly time frame, Nancy, you've got the top of the profile on a monthly base at 350.204. So based on today's action, we'd have to say that Microsoft, over time, is likely going to go target those areas. Now, we have seen Microsoft back off. What's behind that? Can we figure out what's behind that? Let's put up the 30-minute time frame chart. Let's at least start there. And what do we see? We don't see much. So price moved higher, gapped up, obviously. But on the pullback, pullback, price right now is trading with inside its uh, profile. But price pulled back to test that green oscillator and change line. So that message is bullish. But we do have this new profile, new profile to contend with, Nance. And that's between support at 332.62 and resistance at 346.20. Let's just change this. Now, the oscillator and change line is going to be wrong here, but let's just go down to a 15 minute. It's going to maintain that 30 minute oscillator and change line. But just looking for any kind of signal out here. Nothing changes when I look at a 15 minute time frame chart, uh, Nancy. So we're going to go with that uh, call as we speak right now. Of course, it's going to be dependent upon how the market closes today, but it does look like Microsoft wants to make that move higher. Sorry that I couldn't detect that yesterday when we were taking a look at it as price was sitting up at resistance. But resistance was resistance until it's broken. And today, it is broken. Let's go to our next request out here. This is coming from ABCD or Dan inside the Tiger's Den. He wants to take a look at ICU. So let's pull up the charts for ICU, get a feel for what they are doing out here. ICU trading at about 83 cents. 87 actually was the last trade. Now, at 92 pennies, Dan, you've got a... Uh, profile resistance. In fact, right now is a profile resistance zone. And that zone is between the price level of, let me give these to you, 83 and 91. So 83 cents and 91 pennies, that is the resistance zone. If I see an ICU a couple days ago confirmed that Rhodes momentum indicator top when it formed that little uh, bear separation candle. However, its overall signal is neutral. The reason it's neutral is because price found support at that green oscillator and change line. So you're at a neutral signal unless price closes back above 92 pennies. And if it does do that, uh, then you are off to the races. And those races take you back to its high around a buck and a quarter. We take a look at the weekly time frame chart. The weekly's got a nice TD9 count bottom. That TD9 count bottom actually formed on bar number eight the week of September 15th. Price is above. Uh, profile resistance, so it should continue to move higher. We have a TD9 count bottom on the monthly time frame. No profiles here worth uh, paying attention to, but you've got a bottom on the weekly, a bottom on the uh, monthly. You've got a top on the daily, but it's found support, that green oscillator and change line. And right now, all it's got to deal with is that 92 cent area. If we take a look at we take a look at ICU on a short-term basis, a 30-minute time frame chart, see if there's anything out here for you and I to glean from the answer is a buy the D point pattern. That buy the D point pattern came in right at its breakout level of support, about 64 cents out here. Um, so yeah, no, I don't see anything. To, so it's really gonna be all about the battle right now of those sellers. And those sellers, again, exist between 83 cents and 91 pennies out there, or 92 pennies. So Dan, I hope that provided you with the information you were looking for on that. Music to your ears, perfect. I like uh, being able to provide music. All I'm doing is narrating the chart. And then by narrating the chart, what do I mean? We're one, we're taking a look at where support and resistance. Really important. What also are we looking for? We're looking to see was there a top or a bottom? Was there a top or a bottom that formed uh, several days ago? And where's price trade in relationship to that? So we got uh, profile support and resistance. We've got oscillator and change line support and profile resistance out there. And we're just narrating what the charts are telling us. Obviously, anything can change in a heartbeat out there. And oftentimes it does. But we use these probabilities. We use these tools to our advantage to help us understand what the market is communicating. Let's go to our next request, which is coming in from Alton. And Alton writes in, he wants to take a look at ticker symbol TRX out there. So let's pull up those charts and what Alton is looking for is a entry point into TRX. TRX, RTX. Well, wait, TRX? I better go back and take a look because RTX pulled up on my screen. So now Stevie's guy uh, had maybe a little brain fart there. It is RTX. Okay, so I got the right, uh, I just uh, typed it in the wrong spot. So RTX is the number and RTX is RTX Corporation. Okay, well, that's helpful. Now, RTX. Um, so you're looking for an entry point. So this has got an A to B equals CD pattern yesterday. 
uh, that it generated when price closed above its uh, swing point, which was from the trading day of October 17. That swing point had volume of 8 million shares. Yesterday, it was passed with 25 million shares. So the A to B, you know what we're going to do here? We're going to switch over to my black background charts. We'll use that A to B equals CD tool because we can give you some price projection levels. But before we do that, let's just take a quick peek here at the weekly and the monthly. And on the weekly chart, what we know is that price is trading above resistance levels, two resistance levels. One's the oscillator and change line. That's printed at 76.61. The second is the top of its profile. That's down at 75.94. When you trade above resistance, of course, it's a weekly chart, so we have to wait till Friday. But right now, this is telling us we're in a change of trend mode out here, and that price should continue higher. Now, this does have a gap, and that gap to the downside on a weekly basis formed on September 15th. The volume on that gap was 85 million shares. As I mentioned, only Wednesday, we're at about 37 million shares. So it's got, it seems a little bit lighter, but only time will tell there. We get back from this break, and you're going to have a monthly TD9 count bottom that could form between this month and the next two. So let's try to figure out where this is headed to on its uh, daily time frame uh, in its A to B equals CD pattern out there. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Inn, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the stock chart here for RTX Corporation. RTX is the actual ticker symbol. Gapped up yesterday and uh, confirmed at A to B equals C to the upside. It made the one-to-one -one price projection level. So when you gap up or you're coming in with a wide-ranging bar and a gap, in this case here, this is a wide-ranging bar. All you have to do is just color in the area from the prior day's close to the uh, uh, to the uh, to the to, to yesterday's close, and that would be a wide-ranging bar out there. And that's not how you complete patterns. That typically tells you that you're going to do more than, in this case here, the one-to-one -one out here. We also had that 0.382 retracement, 38.33 percent out there. So likely this is going to go target the 80.58 level. But what you're watching for here, though, um, Alton, is a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. If I look at a 30-minute time frame chart, so let me pull this over to this uh, chart just to get a feel for what's going on intraday. This did form or is forming, is it trying to form right now a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. So we have price gap up. We have a potential dark cloud cover that's forming. It's only 1130. Well, this actually, I think there's a little bit of a delay out here. So it looks like to me this is going to just maybe about a minute or two that we're behind. So it looks like this is going to confirm a, uh, a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. And price should pull back to 77.65 or 76.51 out there. That's at least on an intraday basis. Uh, would you go ahead and take the trade down there? I don't know. I think we'd have to come back and take a look at it as it does the retracement out here. The better, more ideal thing would be to get a uh, sell the D point pattern on the daily time frame and watch this thing pull back to a support level, which right now would be about 74.66, the bottom of its uh, uh, or the top of its daily profile out there. Nothing assisting us on the weekly or the uh, monthly out here. So I think you had to sit tight out there, Alton, and uh, continue to monitor RTX. Hope that that helped you out. John C. inside the Tigers and wants to take a look at um, Boeing. So we're going to flip back to the white background charts out there. Give me a moment. See what Boeing is uh, doing. I believe it's uh, confirming a TD9 count pattern, but let's go take a look at it. Let's look at the chart. So today is going to... Be bar number nine if price closes below 182.79. 182.79 is first the most important number that you want to write down on your pad of paper. Now, if you close below 182.79, we're actually trading at 184.90. So my my chart really does have this delay. I got to figure out what the heck is causing that. But uh, that's okay. I've got two screens I can uh, really multiple screens, but I've got two screens to pay attention to. So if price closes above, that's bar number five, that low that I gave you. It will negate a, uh, it will not form a TD9 count pattern out there. Again, that number to be watched at day's end, 182.79. Now, what you do have certainly is a key reversal bar, but in order to have a full key reversal bar, that would uh, then confirm a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. Price has to close one tick in the opposite direction. That means you've got to see a green bodied candle out there today. So watch for that too. The open on uh, Boeing was at. 186 even Stevens. So 18601 would actually accomplish that task. Now, what you do want to see this do, so you want you'd like to see that uh, you'd like to see that key reversal bar. You'd like to see it close certainly above the uh, 18394 level. That's the bottom of his profile. Now, if all of that gets accomplished, John, I don't know whether it will or it won't, but if that gets accomplished, then you'd have a buy signal. Your battles to the upside, your warriors are sitting at 18948. Between 189.48 and 193.63, I say between because that is a bearish structured profile. So that's that's your entire range out there. What's nice about Boeing, if it can form a bottom today, is the weekly chart, which is going to confirm on Friday a TD nine count bottom. When I say confirm, I should mean I really should say complete. What I mean is that the low took place on the bar following bar number nine. Now, the cool thing about that pattern is that if price closes below that low, so far the low for the week, I don't know what it will be by Friday, but so far the low for the week out here is 176 and a quarter. Let's assume that still is a low. And next week we come in and price closes below that. Well, you would exit the long trade because intermediate term time frame, it'd be telling you we're headed lower in a strong momentum move. And that lower move in the case of Boeing could take us back to 132.21. It's not the call I would make, but on a weekly chart, that is the open target out there for Boeing. On a monthly chart, while we have Boeing completing a TD9 count bottom for its weekly time frame, we have Boeing that's pulled back to its buy area on the monthly time frame chart. That's a bullish structured profile. The buy zone is between 181.21 and 191.24. What that means, John, is you certainly want to see price close above 181.21 at the end of the month.
You don't want it to be a trick. You want it to be a treat. And that would be a treat if price can close above that. So Boeing is looking pretty good. It's really all about the daily as we speak right now. It did negate a prior Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern that formed out here on October 6th. We had about a four-day rally. And then price slip back inside its profile. Not really what you want to see. You don't want to see price slip back inside a profile once you've cleared resistance out there. Kind of suggests it was a false move to the upside. Uh, so w those are the parameters to be watching for Boeing. John, I hope you wrote those down. And uh, I would assume we'll take a look at that tomorrow just to see what, in fact, it did do. We had a request by GPH inside the Tigers that wants to take a look at the gold contract out here. And the question was, what did the gold contract do yesterday? So we'll take a look at yesterday, today, and all the other days that show up here we'll do that by moving to the daily and then the intraday charts out here so when i take a look at gold here's the most important thing that you need to know first it has a td9 count top so let's take a look at that we're going to simply go ahead and open i think it's this panel let's give me this problem but we're going to first open this up let me get rid of an old marking out here that we don't need Get rid of that 1939. Okay, so we've got a TD9 count top. By the way, this formed a TD9 count bottom. So the key level, there's going to be two key level of resistance areas that I provide for you, GPH. The first one is the actual TD9 count top. Took place in the bar following bar number nine. If we take a look at that high, that's at 2,920. That's a real key level of resistance. But there's a piece of resistance that's down below that level. That's at 1996.40. However, there is a new daily profile that has formed. My system did pick that up. That's a beautiful thing. So 1996.40, that is your key level of resistance. Now, when we take a look at this profile, it shows that it's a bearish structured profile. Even on my black system, my black background system, I have this bearish structured profile out there. And that means if price closes below the center, and the center is at 1983.70. If price closes below 1983.70 GPH, that tells us that price should make its way down at least to its oscillator and change line. Currently printed 1946.90. More likely, and if price were to close below that, then it would be the bottom of the profile that we'd be looking at. And inside of gold, that's at the 19-1980 level. What took place yesterday? Really not much. Just um, nothing nothing significant that I can see, at least on the daily time frame chart. So watch the daily TD9 count. Watch those levels that I gave you because they will assist you in what the chart is telling you, what buyers and sellers are telling you, what their intentions are. We take a look at a five-hour time frame chart. All we have out here looks like a consolidation with inside its profile as well. That's between 1997.60 at resistance and 1977 as support. Both those levels were explored during the last five hours out there. So just a good old-fashioned consolidation. The four-hour chart did form a TD9 count top and Rhodes momentum indicator top. It did that at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the uh, 20th. Of, uh, of October. And now it's just consolidating with inside its profile. So no other piece of information that's worthwhile for us there. Um, what else does DB have? I don't have much else that I can see, GPH, to assist you with Goldilocks. But if there's some other piece of information you were looking for, just ping me back and I'll get that for you. We get back to this break. We're going to take a look at Micron. That's for Nicholas and SBSW for Brent in Martinez, California. Of course, I'd love a few more requests out there. Steve at TFNN.com. Any pick inside the Tigers. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Folks, we got the charts for Micron up on my screen right now. Micron is actually trading at, let me see here, it's actually trading at 68.20. Uh, so disregard the 68, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm at 68 on my screen. So the question that Nicholas is asking, is in a long call, wants to understand, you know, really what's, what's Micron doing? So we can see that Micron this morning traded up to the 69.20 level. And the question is, why did it stop at 69.20? And the answer for that, uh, Nicholas, is on the uh, weekly chart. The weekly chart shows that green oscillator and change line. And right now, with price below that, that is a key resistance level. And that's at 69.01. So that is held. Now, you have support because there's a new profile that formed yesterday. And the new profile supported at 67 bucks. So you've got support at 67. You certainly have one resistance level at 69 and a slight bit of change out there, 69.01. And above that, it would be 69.68, which would be the top of the daily profile. Um, the retracement here looks like maybe about a 0.6 rate retracement. That was a few days ago. You have tested and rejected the swing point from down on September 28th. So let's take a look at that. That was a 46 million share swing point. That was tested and rejected yesterday with... 8 million shares. So there's your test and rejection of a swing point on lighter volume. And says you didn't want to bust it down any further, but now you're dealing with that resistance, those resistance levels. Again, 69.02 to 69.68 out there. I wish I had more to provide to you. I don't see anything on a short-term chart, so no reason for me to pull that over to you, but that's what Micron is doing. So best of luck to you in that uh, long call position out there. Brent would like to take a look at SBSW. So let's pull open uh, that chart, and what Brent is looking for is support. How low will SBSW go? So let's go take a look at it, see if we can help him out. So SBSW, we're gonna start on the monthly time frame chart, Brent. On our monthly time frame chart, this is going to be bar number nine. So there's the potential that a monthly TD9 count bottom, well, there's not a potential. The TD9 count bottom is going to form this month. It will complete next month. So that says, okay, be paying attention for some type of bottom to occur. That's over the next uh, five weeks out here. Well, how are we going to know if that bottom forms? Well, the cool thing is, Brent, is on a weekly basis, we've got a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that is present, is triggered. 
And that says that if we get a bullish reversal candle, then we would have a confirmation of a Roachman to indicator bottom on a weekly time frame. So that would be a beautiful thing. Just so it turns out that yesterday triggered the first Rosemont indicator signal in a daily time frame. Market is stretched when we see those signals form. They require bullish reversal candles. Well, yesterday you had a gap down. Today you've got a gap down. Um, so where can this head to? That was the next question. So let's try to open up these charts here, see if we can help figure that out, at least on a daily time frame. You know what we're going to have to do here? We're probably going to have to go take a look at um, – Gonna have to go take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern. So I'll go to my other charts for that. Real quickly, let me open up the weekly chart, see what other bottom anything I've got out here. And nothing shows up. I'd have to turn on another tool to see where the next breakout area is, but I'm gonna pass on that right now while my system is kind of uh, acting pretty slow. On the monthly time frame chart, the real low that it could be, let's say this TD9 count bottom pattern fails on the monthly time frame. Well, then that's telling us that price get back to $2.32 out there. So let's go take a look at the black background charts. Maybe I'm, yeah, I'm not on them. Okay, good. That's a good thing. At least I didn't do that. And let's take a look at the black background charts. And let's start with the first, the larger A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. So that's going to, and, and because there's so many on the daily time frame, it's why I like to start with the larger time frame, get a feel for the uh, the real underlying pattern that's in play out here. So this A to B equals C, the B point was at eight bucks, volume on a monthly basis of 75 million. When it was passed, it was passed with 81 million shares. That is a confirmed A to B equals CD. That gets us down to basically zero, gets down to minus 20. So I know that's not the likely outcome out there, but that is the pattern that is in play on a monthly time frame. We'll watch the TD9 counts to identify a bottom. There's a couple different A to B equals C. Let's see if we get a different one if we take a look at the, or if I get that same one, if I take a look at the monthly swing point. I wasn't paying attention to price out here, but that would be the high for March of uh, 2022. And the uh, bottom, a B point would be 919, 2022, and the C point out here on January 9, 2023. Come on, does that get us down to that minus 20? Uh, no, it gets us down even further. It gets down to minus 364. So we're going to turn that one off because that's not reasonable. So I've got smaller A to B equals CD patterns out here, Brent. And that next price projection level might be 401 or so. Uh, here's how I, you're looking for the next bottom. And here's how I would take a look at it based upon the signals here. The first thing I'd be looking for is the daily time frame to see if it can generate a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom out there by generating a bullish reversal candle. And then we come back and we take a look at the weekly chart and see what it is doing out there. But as far as price projection levels out here, really kind of uh, complicated, difficult. $2.32 is about the only thing I can really come up with right now. And I'm not saying that that's where price is headed to. So, Brent, uh, thanks for the call yesterday. Thanks for the request this morning. Much appreciated and have a wonderful Wednesday. Hector and Patty, they want to take a look at Barrick Gold. G-O-L-D is a ticker symbol out there. So let's go take a look at it. And when we take a look at Barrick Gold, it is right now, Hector and Patty, consolidating with inside its uh, bullish structured daily profile. I don't have any kind of a top out here, any kind of a top. We take a look at GOLD. Now, the support zone is where price pulled back to yesterday. And that support zone is between 1608 and 1629. That held. Where is price headed to? Likely the top of its profile, and that's at the 1693 level. Geez, for all I know, it could already be up here. Let me change my black background screen uh, where I've got the most accurate data. Oh, I wasn't even on that. Let me switch over to the white screens out here. Give me a moment, folks. Sorry about that. Although you were kind of taking a look at at the uh, everything that I was saying because that was, that was really following along there. So 1693, you're at 1684 as we speak right now. If price can take that out, you know, you're off to the races out here to the upside. Now, where were those races take Patty and Hector? When you look at these charts, what do we do? We go from daily to where? We go from daily to weekly out there because there's not an A to B equal CD to the upside, even if price takes out that swing point on a daily basis. That's not enough of a retracement. It certainly doesn't look like it's enough of a retracement to me. And when I say enough, I'm meaning a 0 0.382 retracement out there. And that's like the minimum level that you want to be able to get to, or at least somewhere close to that. And that retracement yesterday was a 26% retracement. For me, no reason for us to try to force a um, pattern. We don't need to. 
Why? Because if price takes out resistance at 1693, we then slide over, our eyes slide over to the weekly chart. The weekly chart says, okay, we're trading above the center of a bullish structured profile. Stevie has shared with us multiple times, so much so that we're tired of hearing it, which when you close above the center of bullish structured profile, buyers should have the strength to push price up to the top of that profile. That's at 1766. So 1693, that's your first key level of resistance. If you get above that and close above that, then we're looking at 1766. And then above that, we look at 1881. And 1881 would be the top of the monthly profile. So that's what we see when we take a look at Rand Gold on a 30-minute basis. I don't have a top. However, we're going to pull this chart over here, Hector and Patty. However, what we can see out here is price has found resistance. That is TD9 account, breakdown resistance level of 1680. You are trading at 1686. You want to see two consecutive 30-minute closes above that to suggest that it wants to head higher, at least back to the most recent highs out there. So Hector and Patty, I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request, as always. We get back to this break, we're gonna take a look at EFC for Dan inside the Tiger Stem. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. You got the Dow up 85, SMEs off 35, NASDAQ 100 down 243. Uh, we've got a mixed bag out there. Let's go take a look at these last two requests that we have. The first one is VFC for Dan inside the Tiger's Den. As we take a look at VFC, what is this thing doing? No, that's not it. Where did I put it? Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, Dan, I'm going to have to come back to that, or I might have to do it during the uh, when we get off the air and, and, and give you a break. But let's take a look at Verizon. McGuppy inside the Tiger's Den. Let's take a look at Verizon. So Verizon, what you'd love to see, what it did yesterday uh, with that nice gap to the upside, and it ran right into its TD9 count breakdown resistance level at 34.17. We're trading below that, or I believe we're trading below that right now. Let me see where we're actually trading inside Verizon. But here's what you want to see. You're at 33.94. You want to see a close above 34.17 to tell you that you've got a real breakout going. Now, we look at the weekly chart. Verizon has resistance at 34.64. Why did it stop where it did? This is a profile weekly profile with the overhead resistance so you really want to see forget 3417 3464 is a level that you want to see price overcome if you can overcome that area that's a real sign of strength out there on a monthly basis you're going to potentially get a road's momentum indicator bottom needs to rally a bit further you could get a td9 count on a monthly basis but that td9 count is only bar number eight so it could be between this month and a couple months out here here's what i would do on verizon i would watch 3464 like a hawk out there let me see if we get vfc up on the screen out here not vex but c c just happens to be the letter that's next to x on the keyboard if stevie could only type um, so we're waiting for this to load here. Dan, I tell you what, because uh, the show is basically over, I'm going to go ahead and post these charts here for VFC for you and any other commentary I'll go ahead and post in the den. Folks, stay tuned for all the great programming we've got lined up here. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday. Please have a wonderful Wednesday. Be safe out there. Take care.